Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to add support blockers in Bamboo Studio Slicer. Step number one is to open Bamboo Studio. Step number two is to get your file in here or your model. Chances are you're already this far. Step number three is to add the auto supports. Chances are that's what you added. Maybe it's the tree autos. Let's slice this. And this is where it placed all the supports and maybe there's an area where you don't want support. So let's pretend this is the area right here I don't want supports. So then click back to the prepare tab and the next step we need to go over to the support section again and click on the manual supports, tree manual. Then once you have that selected, go and highlight your print by clicking on it and then flip the print upside down because we're gonna have to manually add the support blockers in the location and we need probably need the print upside down to look at it. Next, click on this icon right here where it says supports painting, click on that. Then what I usually do here is I increase the pen size a little bit because what we have to do is we have to paint the support blockers on there. So here's the deal. So if you left click and hold, this is where you can paint where supports are supposed to be, right? See that right there? This is where supports are okay to be. And I'm gonna put them there, and I'm also gonna put them here because they had supports there. But remember the area that I needed support blockers was actually up here. What you have to do is actually right click, right click on the mouse and hold. See how that's a different color? It's a red color. That's where there's gonna be no supports, AKA adding the support blockers to your model. Then once you're done adding the support blockers, click in the right hand corner where it says slice plate. And you can now see we have added the support blockers and there is no supports up here like we were talking about. This is how to add support blockers in Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments with questions and please subscribe.